I mean, that was probably the most healthiest liver I've ever tasted. So we're at Justin Rhodes, Justin and Rebecca Rhodes place, and we're up super early today. Uh, we're gonna be butchering a sheep and a steer. We have Brandon here from Farmstead Meatsmith. That's it. Right, right. Yeah. So you're gonna teach us how to do stuff. <laughs> yeah, we're we're going to harvest the family cow. Yeah, that's awesome, man. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for since 2010. Wow, is that 11 years? Yes. So that's great, man. Yeah, yeah. Harvesting in every context, but it's always you know the uh, I'm spoiled. I get to harvest animals in the domestic scene as they were meant to be harvested. Yeah. So I've been following this guy for a while, uh, and this is what you do for a living. It is, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah I do, um, Farmstead Meatsmith offers like local, the service of local mobile slaughter, just around where I live and butcher, so I'll slaughter the animal on its turf, bring it back to my shop, butcher, cure, and then the farmer comes and picks it up. And then I'll, we do classes at, at our place. Um, You're located where? On Vashon Island okay. in Washington State, so just outside of Seattle. Um, and then we do, we have a little online membership too, uh, based on doing all this stuff on the home scale. That's awesome, man. Yeah. I appreciate what you're doing. Thanks. We'll, we'll bring it up by degrees, so it'll never actually have full live weight. It'll have sort of live weight. We are harvesting a beef and a, a lamb with one of the best guys in the world, arguably. Yep. And doing that here in about 15 minutes. We're filming a show for a TV show, Rooted, and then we're gonna film an instructional for Abundance Plus. So if somebody wants to actually do this themselves, they'll have a step-by-step -step video uh, with Brandon so that they can do it. It basically takes all the weight off that camera and it makes it, you know, you can be super stable with it. That's me. <laughs> Whenever I have a friend who asks, hey, can you help us butcher an animal? I always try to say yes. No matter, I think for me, it's more of, I just need to be around it. You know, I just need to always see it. Because one day, we're gonna be doing this on our property. Whether it's a pig or a steer or a sheep, it's gonna happen eventually. Wow, you're right. Yep, that camp is little. That, you see that? Even two of them are one bigger than the other. I, Jenna, will you hold this? The boys and I will, we're gonna give everybody alfalfa. And then this is the guy, H Mark. Spot, where I want to shoot him, I think. Yeah? I have a good relationship with him. Let's get him, here we'll get him over. And then let's get him a snack over here. Alright, y'all pin that back. <laughs> yeah, perpendicular to his yeah, side. Yeah. 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 I do a little head down like that. Do you want me to turn yeah. back yeah. so it's more flat or more than an angle to the Okay, we did it good. So I'm filming for Justin also, plus I'm filming for you guys here. Um, but the cow's down and we're gonna about to pull it up now and then gut it all out. And you know, there's little efficiency that you gain as you go is uh, um, not walking back and forth across the cow ineffectually. So while you're down here, do all the stuff down here. And then as you traverse the cow, do all the stuff in the middle. And when you get back here, do all the stuff up here. And it seems, seems like a little thing, but and beef is really hard on your knives because these the hides just, you know, you can strop a blade and sharpen a knife with height. Yeah. Are we ready? One, two, three. Three. Awesome. One, two, three. One more. One, two, 
I wish it tastes like chocolate, but I know it's good for you. Sorry. All right, I'll have some. Come on. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I'm beat. All, all kind of delivers a super mild. It almost tastes like, like cheese. Like cheese. Or, I'm tasting cheese. Like mozzarella cheese? Yeah. He did say yeah. that. He did say that, right? I gave everyone else some more <laughs> All the guts are out, and then now they're cutting it in half. And they're just going to take it to a processor after this, and then the processor is going to make all the cuts. Yeah, we should talk about that. So, <laughs> right below his jawbone? Yeah, so what you would want to do is aim for his larynx. Oh, really? And the goal with skinning sheep is to use the knife only to set you up to be able to fist the hide off. You're unknitting it rather than not. Just blasting through it, pulling stuff off. I don't know, people must just take some skinny cows and make a mess up. That's the sheep. The sheep's done. It's going to the walk-in cooler. And then they're taking it to the butcher. It's more doable. Now it's time for lunch. And that's it. We harvested a cow, steer, a lamb, all before lunchtime. Guys, if you want to see the unedited version, Justin's putting in unedited versions of his videos on his new abundance plus member area if you guys want to have access to that i'll leave the link down below just made it home guys it's only one o'clock in the afternoon the only thing i did this morning because it was still dark is feed the chickens and the pigs but i have not moved these guys yet it was so fun hanging out with Justin and the family and the crew, and also meeting Brandon from uh, Farmstead Meatsmith, man. I mean, trying fresh raw liver like that, when is it the last time I'm gonna do that? I'm, <laughs> I don't know, I mean, it doesn't get any fresher than that, so I had to try that raw liver. I mean, that was probably the most healthiest liver I've ever tasted. But man, such an education this morning, you know? All before noon. If you're not frequently looking or seeing this in person or the actual harvesting of an animal, you don't know. Like, I, I don't feel confident doing it myself, but the more I'm around it, the more I'm around friends, people that are doing it, it gives me confidence that, hey, we can do this one day, you know? We could butcher our own cow or, or sheep or, or pig. <laughs> <laughs> Last year when our brothers escaped or almost ran out in the street One of these pig boards would have came in handy Finally have a pig board guys. I finally got one and a pig board is to uh, Kind of I guess move pigs a little bit easier So they don't just see my legs. They have like an actual wall that we can use to kind of guide them places These big red brother chickens It's time for butcher week. This is our their last week here. I mean, talking to the meat smith guy, I mean, he says, you know, you're gonna mess up, you know, when you're butchering your own animal. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just part of the process, you know, you're just gonna mess up. I guess that's what I learned today, is that sometimes you are gonna mess up, but it's okay, and that's just part of the process. And how else are you gonna learn? By messing up, by not doing something right, you're gonna learn from that. And you could, it's just gonna make you better and better and better. Hey, pig, 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 pigs. Hey, pigs. How you doing? Hey, pig, 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 pig. <laughs> Still have plenty of feed. I mean, they're still little, you know, they're two months and they're not going through that feed as much as I thought they would. And they're still scared of me, they're a little skittish. 
I wonder if they smell the blood on my shoes from the butcher day. Only had them for a few days and you know, they're, they're picking this spot as their poop spot. So I've been covering this up with some wood chips and they took onto that nipple water right away as soon as we got them. You could tell though, that's the smaller one and then that's the bigger one. Really fun day, really busy, <laughs> hard day, but we got it done. Uh, but this week we're also butchering our meat chicken, so a week full of butchering. 